our moon salute, right? Just like we always do. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we'll work on the shoulders or whatever you want to work on today. Yeah. Okay. And then if you have questions, feel free to interject. Again, this is the first time I'm doing this, <laughs> and it's a snow day. So, yes. tax, like, just didn't work this morning either. So, we're going to try this and see how it goes, okay? Yeah, sure. All right, so, first things first, you're going to come to all fours, and we'll work from the ground first. Mm -hmm. So, hands are shoulder distance apart, spine is long, shoulder blades down and back, and we want to form that box, so make sure that you're your fingertips are making are framing a picture. Shoulders down, back, and then press through the armpits into the floor. Elongate the head and neck. Pull the belly button in. And this you can't really see because of my angle, but we'll work on camera angles later. What I'd like you to do is a few cat cows. So you'll inhale and open the chest up. Exhale, tuck under. So inhale, open chest and shoulders. Exhale, round under. And inhale, open up. Exhale, round under. We'll do four more just like that. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round under. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Now release back to child's pose for just a moment. So the hips come to the heels, fingertips spread wide, forehead to floor. And now on an inhale, you're going to look up towards your hands, walk the hands back towards you, and then we're going to stack, uh, start stacking downward facing dog. So you'll take your toes beneath. And exhale. Sorry? Now release back to child's pose for just a moment. So the hips come to the heels. Fingertips spread wide, forehead to floor. Is it delay? Good. And then the tailbone up and back. So at this point in time, you don't need to be completely into child or into a down. And an inhale, you're going to look up towards your hands. Walk the hands back towards you, and then we're going to stack, uh, start stacking downward facing dog. So you'll take your toes beneath and exhale. Sorry? Okay, so now it's out of delay. So the hips come to the heels, fingertips spread wide, forehead to floor. There's a delay. Good. <laughs> Double up and back. It looks. At this point in time, you don't need to delay. completely into child or into a down. Inhale, you're going to look up towards your hands, walk the hands back towards you, and then we're going to stack, uh, start stacking downward facing dog. So you'll take your toes in the air. There we go. All right. <laughs> All right, so Cindy, I'm having. Looks like we've got a little bit of a delay, so uh, all right. Hang on, Cindy. I'm trying to work out. It looks like my broadcast is delayed, so hold on just a second. All right, so so we'll go back into downward facing dog, and now we'll work through the moon salutation. So on an inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, bend knees. Inhale, walk the feet together. And so once we're here in the front of our mat, we're going to place hands on shins. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And so the camera angle is kind of a little restricted, but you can still hear me. Exhale, fold forward. Good. Now inhale, come all the way up to standing, raising the arms up overhead. <laughs> I'm going to try and see if I can't get a wider angle here so that you guys can see. 
Let me see if we can move this over here. Here's always the challenge. And again, this is a test to see if this will actually work in the long run. So there's my mat, guys. I'm trying to get a little further away. Let's see here. It's a little bit better. Let me try and get just a little further away so that y'all can see what I'm doing. All right. So we'll move into the moon salute. I'm trying to get enough space for y'all to see. All right, so inhale, raise the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward, and we're going to bend the knees slightly as we go. Inhale, lengthen the spine and look up. Now as you exhale, place your hands beneath your shoulders. Walk back into a plank. So when you're in that plank position, abdominals are tight, chest is lifted, armpits are engaged, head is back. Inhale, as you exhale, move down knees, chest, and chin. And inhale, open the chest and shoulders into cobra. As you exhale, Hips to heels, child's pose. Take three breaths here. Now inhale, look to the hands, drag the hands back one inch. Exhale, hips to heels, child, uh, downward dog. Release the shoulders, lift the tailbone up and back. And I want those only the length of your hamstrings. So if your hamstrings feel really tight when the legs are extended, I want you to bend the knees slightly and just extend through the tailbone. Inhale, look to the hands. Exhale, left leg steps through. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, other step, foot steps through. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Now we'll really do it. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. This is typical, right? Exhale, fold forward, bend the knees as you go. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back with your left foot. Good. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, drop the back knee. On an inhale, raise the arms up overhead. Exhale. Come down into a plank. So feet are hips distance apart. Spread back. Inhale. Exhale, coming down knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, hips to heels. Child's pose. Take one more deep breath in. And as you exhale, walk the hands back an inch and press back into downward facing dog. Again, leading with the hips. Draw shoulder blades down and back. Knees are slightly bent. Inhale, look to the hands. Exhale, step forward with the left foot and hold that runner's lunge. Inhale. As you exhale, half step in. Inhale. Exhale. Fold into a little hamstring stretch. Now on your next inhale, walk the feet between the hands. Inhale. Arms up overhead. Now we'll begin again. Exhale. Fold forward. Bend the knees as you go. Stabilize at the shins. Inhale. Look up and lengthen. Exhale. Lunge back with the right leg. Inhale. Lengthen. Exhale. Drop the knee down. Inhale, open up Anjanasana. Exhale, bring those hands down and come into plank. Inhale, exhale, knees, chest and chin, spiral through to cobra. Exhale, hips to heels, child's pose. On your next inhale, look to your hands and walk the hands back an inch. Now tucking toes under, hips distance apart, press back into downward dog, leading with the hips. you got to always watch out for Nerf guns. <laughs> inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, step forward with the right foot. Inhale, hold the runner's lunge. As you exhale, the left foot steps halfway in. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, sink back into left leg. Inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, match the feet at the front of the mat. Take a deep breath all the way in and we'll repeat on the other side. Exhale, fold forward, bend the knees as you go. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, lunge back with the left leg. Inhale, exhale, drop the back knee. Inhale, open the arms up overhead. Exhale, come into plank. Inhale. 
Exhale, knees down, chest and chin. Spiral through to Cobra. Exhale, downward uh, child's pose. One more deep breath. Now inhale, lift your hands, walk back an inch, press back into downward dog. Release the shoulders, lift the hips up and back. Inhale, raise the left leg. As you exhale, left leg steps through into a high runner's lunge. Inhale, exhale, drop the back knee down, come into Anjanasana. Nice hip flexor opener. Exhale, hands beside you, come into plank. Inhale, exhale, knees down, chest and chin. Spiral through to cobra, inhale. Exhale, hips to heels, child's pose. Now inhale, lift to your hands, walk the hands back an inch. Press back into downward facing dog. Lift the tailbone up and back. Now inhale. And exhale on your next inhale, the right leg is going to rise up. Exhale, right leg lunges between the hands. Inhale, exhale, drop that back knee down. Inhale, open up. Exhale, come into plank. Inhale, exhale, knees down, chest and chin, and now we're going to come all the way to the front. Inhale, open the chest up. Exhale, hips to heels, child's pose. Inhale, lift your hands. Exhale, walk back an inch. Press back into downward dog. Inhale, look to the hands. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, jump, step, or walk. Feet between the hands and look up and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. This is the part you just can't see. Exhale, hands come through the heart center. All right. So we're going to do a few sun salute A's, and then we'll get into some heart opening and uh, shoulder strengthening. All right, so sun salute A. On an inhale, take the arms up overhead. So I'm trying to get you guys in here. <laughs> Hope you're okay. All right, so let me level this out a little bit so that we can see a little little bit more. All right. Okay. Shoot, now I can't see the map. Sorry, guys. One last technical issue here. So it's either you're going to see me standing or you're going to see me on the mat. And for right now, I'd rather you see me on the mat. All right. So sun slid A, legs, hips distance or cranks distance apart. Inhale, raise the arms up overhead. Keep the arms in your peripheral vision. Gaze towards your hands. Exhale, fold forward. Hinge at the hips, fold forward and bend the knees as you go. Inhale, lengthen the spine. So really lengthen and elongate through the crown of the head. Exhale, you're going to place those hands on the floor, shoulder distance apart, and come back into a plank. Inhale. Exhale. This time, rock the body weight forward. Bring the elbows to the front side of the ribcage. That's Chaturanga Dandasana. Now drop to the knees. Extend the arms and raise the rib cage to the upper arms, engaging inner thighs together and then lifting up. Exhale, hips to heels, child's pose this first one. We'll go a little slower so that we don't hurt the lower back. Inhale, look up, walk hands back. Exhale, press into downward dog. I'll take two more deep breaths. Really concentrate on elongating the spine. Bending the knees if you need to, toes and heels straight ahead. Inhale, look to the hands. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, jump, step, or walk. Feet come between the hands. Inhale, look up and lengthen and stabilize at the shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing and look towards your thumbs. Good. Exhale, we'll do again. Exhale, fold. Hinging at the hips. Inhale, lengthen if you can. You can extend the legs, but don't overstretch your hamstrings. Exhale, coming into plank, and you can jump back into plank if you wish. Inhale, exhale, lower down to Chaturanga Dandasana. So keep those shoulders engaged. 
rock forward, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, so you can come to the knees or now you can come to the toes. Arms extend and now lift through the upper part of the ribcage, ribcage through upper arms. Exhale, hips to heels, child's pose or come straight back into downward facing dog. We'll do three more deep breaths. So try to engage the lower abdomen. Keep the rib cage moving towards the floor. Keep the shoulders rolling down into the floor and back. Inhale, look to the hands. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, jump, step, or walk. Bring the feet between the hands and lengthen the spine. Stabilize it at the shins or the floor or your thighs. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing and look towards your thumbs. Exhale, hands come through. All right, so we're going to do what we call Utkatasana. So hang on. Hey, Lewis. All right, guys. Sorry. All right, so it looks as though we've got a couple people online. We just did Moon Salute, and we just did our uh, Sun Salute A. I'm going to repeat each of those one more time since you all just joined. So we'll try this once again. <laughs> Um, the camera angle right now, I want you to be able to see the mat. And so when we do standing poses, I'll change the camera angle. I'm working in Brett and Ryan's room right now, so <laughs> we've got some toys in the background. <laughs> so anyway, I'm uh, doing my best because this is where we've got the most floor space and also where the family's not going to be walking around. Anyway, so let's do Moon Salute one more time. We'll do Sun A. Um, and then we'll work on opening the chest and the shoulders. All right, so Moon Salute. Salute once again. <clears throat> All right, so we'll start from standing, hips distance apart, and then inhale, take a deep breath, arms up overhead. As you exhale, fold forward from the hips, bend the knees as you go. Inhale, lengthen the spine and look up, and we're going to step back with our left leg. So hands come into plank position, hips shoulder distance apart, left leg stretches back. So high runner's lunge, inhale, exhale, drop the back knee. On your next inhale, Come into Anjali, arms up overhead. Exhale, come down into plank. So hands are beneath the shoulders. Tuck the toe in. Other leg like behind you. And then hold. So engage the shoulders. Elongate the spine. Tuck tailbone under. Inhale. As you exhale, we're going to go down knees, chest, and chin. Spiral through to cobra. Exhale. Hips to heels, child's pose. Inhale, look between the hands as you exhale, walk the hands back an inch and press back into downward facing dog. So roll shoulders down and press through the armpits, lift the tailbone up and back and release the top side of the neck. On an inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, left leg lunges between the hands. Inhale in that high runner's lunge. Now we'll come into a hamstring stretch. Inhale. As you exhale, half step in. And press that hand, the foot behind you. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sink back. What are you doing? Okay. Sink back in your hamstring stretch. Now match the feet at the front of your mat. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Just start again on the other side. Bending the knees as you go. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lunge back with the right foot. Inhale. As you exhale, drop the back knee down. Inhale, come into Anjanasana. Inhale. Exhale, come into plank. And inhale, exhale, plank. So again, readjust shoulders. Shoulders down and back into the floor. Extend through the neck. Rock forward. Now, chest to elbows, coming into that Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, hips to heels, child's pose. Inhale, lift your hands. Exhale, walk the hands back. 
press back into downward facing dog. Now inhale, raise the right leg. As you exhale, right leg lunges between the hands. Inhale, now as you exhale, half step in with the left foot. Inhale, come up. Exhale, sink back into that hamstring stretch. Inhale, match the feet at the front of the mat. Deep breath in. Exhale, hands through the heart center. So we'll do sun salute A one more time. So feet are cranks distance apart, so hips distance. Inhale, raise the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold from the hips. Bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, lengthen the spine and look up. Exhale, jump or step back into plank. Inhale. Exhale, coming into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. So we take five breaths. That's two, three, four, and five. Inhale, look to the hands. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, jump, step, or walk. Bring the feet between the hands and lengthen. Exhale, fold or bend the knees. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Press through the heels. Exhale, hands through. Now, coming down to your mat, you want to have a lanky <laughs> or something of that nature. I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way so they're not in the shot anymore. A little arsenal over here. Um, so what I'd like you to do is that blanket behind you. We're going to sit on our knees for just a moment and widen the stance just a little bit. Now if this is too much on the knees, you can place a block underneath your sit bones or we can roll that blanket up, double it up, and sit on it. So this is also known as thunderbolt pose. We'll come into a modified camel like we did last week. Now when we do this, because we don't have as many props, we're going to actually have to open up the quads a little bit, okay? And then we'll open up the upper back a little bit, and then we'll do it. All right, so first things first, opening up the quads. I want you to pull lower belly in, tailbone sinks. We'll lift the pelvis up off the ground into a kneeling position. So keep the chest tall, shoulder blades back. Tuck tailbone under and lift. Good. And exhale. Sink back. Inhale and lift. Exhale, release back. Good. Inhale and lift. Exhale, release back. Two more just like that. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come up to kneeling. Good. So here in kneeling, I want you to try, try and keep your hips, your knees, hips distance apart. Tuck tailbone under. Hold Uddiyana Bandha. So drawing tailbone in and lifting up through the heart center. Draw shoulder blades down and back. Now, place those hands on your rib cage. Okay? What I'd like you to do is just draw the elbows back. And at the same time, just lift the ribs up. Inhale. We do not want to feel any discomfort in the lower back. Just continue to open the chest upwards. Inhale. Exhale. Now pull belly button in and lengthen the spine. Exhale. Sink all the way back. We'll do the same thing again. So inhale coming up. Exhale. Release shoulders back. Hands come to the ribs. Inhale. Open. Exhale. Release and release all the way back. Now I'll come up one last time. This time we're going to interlace the fingers behind us. Inhale, come up. 
Exhale, inhale, interlace the fingers and open the chest up, but do not sink into your lower back. Exhale, release back. Now we'll do our last variation where we'll come into that camel pose. So come up. This time, tuck toes beneath you. So the ball of the foot is into the floor and the heel is lifted. Now, we're tuck tailbone under, lift through the chest. We're going to interlace the hands. Inhale. Now, as you exhale, I want you to place your hands at your lower back. All right? So the way that we have this situated is the palms are down towards the sacrum, okay? Fingertips are up towards the rib cage. Now we'll draw shoulder blades back, and now at the same time, pulling belly button in and pressing tailbone down, but at the same time, drawing shoulder blades back and the chest up. So inhale, and exhale. Good. Now if you can, you want to point the chest up to the sky and open the throat. Inhale, and exhale. Now if you feel okay there, you can extend back, fingertips in the instep, and open up into camel. Inhale, touch chin to chest. Exhale. Now as you inhale, think of rising up before we rise forward so we don't crimp the lower back. So lifting up. And exhale, and just inhale again. Exhale, sink back to child's pose. Extend the arms out in front of you like a teepee, and relax the head between the hands. Inhale, look to the front of the mat. Exhale, walk the hands back. All right, so now we're going to progress into a core sequence. Take the blanket out from under your feet. I'm going to roll down on your back and do taps. So lower back is down, so the sacrum is down, rib cage is down, and now we're going to press the back side of the head into the floor. Rock and roll your shoulders under, but also make sure that we're not flaring through the rib cage or elevating through the lower back. Knees are going to come right above our hips, so at a 90 degree angle. Now extend out about an inch so that we feel that engagement through the lower belly. Now, holding here, rock and roll shoulders under, press the pinky side of the hands into the floor. So we're all engaged from the crown of the head down into the floor, meaning crown of the head to tailbone, all pressed into the floor. Now, extend one leg down and come back up. Extend the other leg down. And the key here is that we're not letting that pelvis move at all. Exhale and inhale. Tap down and come back up. Tap down and come back up. We'll do 30 seconds here. Concentrate on smooth, fluid breathing. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. Exhale. And inhale. And inhale, exhale, inhale. Keep your jaw relaxed, throat open, just concentrate on holding that core and pressing back into the floor. Now place the feet down on the floor, relax. We'll come into a bridge pose. So feet are hips distance apart. Hands are in that same position. You're going to press the heels into the floor, tuck the tailbone under, lift the hips up to the sky, rock and roll the shoulder blades under. Your gaze is down the nose, towards your navel, interlace the fingertips. Now release down under the floor. We'll do one more set of taps, one more set of bridges, and then we'll do um, some scapular retraction and strength for swimming. So, top of the sacrum is on the floor, lower spine is on the floor, head is pressed back, shoulders are rolled open, knees come up over the hips, extend out an inch so you feel the transversus engage. Inhale, stay nice and tall, relax your throat, deep breaths in and out. Inhale. 
and exhale. Maintain that hip stability. Last 10 seconds. Watch that low back. Make sure that it's not rising off the floor or that you don't feel any con uh, constraint in your lower back. If you do, take those feet a little closer to you. Last three, two, one. Press those feet down and come up into a bridge. Feet are hips distance apart. Hands are beside you. Tuck tailbone under and lift so that the hips are level with the knees. Rock and roll shoulder blades under and interlace. Five full breaths. Release the hands, release all the way down, bring those knees into the chest, rock and roll side to side, take the hands out into a T, we're just going to release through the lower back, feet up and across over. Now engage the lower belly, lift the knees back up, recenter, and exhale to the other side. Inhale, come back to the center, brace the lower abdominals. Exhale one more time each side, take two breaths each side. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, release to the other side. Inhale, come back up to the center. Now, rolling like a ball for 10. So inner thighs are engaged, knees are out slightly, hands are going to be right beneath the hands. Tuck the tailbone under, and we're rolling up. So we'll roll to shoulder blades and come back up. Now holding up at the top, hold steady and release. So we'll take a little plank through and come on to our elbows for a little bit of the swimming upper body work. So roll through, extend into a plank, hold here, inhale. Now as you exhale, I want you to drop to the knees and place the elbows down on the floor. Now from here, roll shoulders back, exhale. Hands are shoulder distance, or another good way to measure this is press your palms into opposite bicep. Make sure the elbows are lined up directly beneath the shoulders. All right, then we're going to extend the shoulder blades back, and then spin the hands so they're parallel to each other. Now, they can touch if that feels more comfortable on your shoulders, but the key is elongate the back of the neck, shoulder blades down back, and pressing into the floor while the upper spine, or all those muscles or paraspinals, from the ribs to the crown of the head are extending towards the sky. So we have armpits pressing down, head pressing back, forearms pressing into the floor. Our body weight is going to be up over our hands. So now extend into a plank, belly button's drawn in. One foot comes out and tuck those toes under. Second foot comes out, hips distance and hold. Relax your jaw and throat and hold steady. Now we're going to saw a little bit. So I want you to go back an inch and forward an inch. Back an inch, forward an inch. Back an inch, forward an inch. Keep the thighs tight. Stay engaged from head to heel. And release down. Now we're going to do a sequence where we extend up. Hands are beside us. Coming into a little bit of a locust. So shoulder blades draw back, head extends, belly button tucks under. Now extend the arms back. 
So I want you to feel this across the upper back. Now release. We're going to come back into that planking position. So readjust the hands and extend out. All right, toes tuck under. Come into your plank. Inhale, exhale, release down to the floor. We'll do locust, and now we'll add some other things to it. So shoulder blades squeeze back, belly button draws in, elongate the spine, and hold. Three deep breaths, inhaling. And release down. Now come back into your planking position. Holding here. Now we're going to take the arms out ahead of us. So I'm going to scoot back just a little bit so you can see this. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to practice the angle of our catch. So hands are going to be outstretched in front of us, essentially 10 and 2, all right? Shoulders are tucked under, and I want you to engage shoulders back and down and kind of tucking the shoulder blade under, so to speak. Let me show you that again. So normally we're up here in our ears. I want you to think of drawing shoulder blades back and together, but then now engaging the serratus and drawing forward. So we just avoided that acromion. Thumbs are up slightly. Now what we're going to do from here is extend the spine, but also <clears throat> pull our belly button in. So when we're in the water, we want to think of kind of tucking our pelvis under so that the lower back is pressed up, right? Now at the same time, our chest is going to be down, but we are looking kind of with a long extended neck, probably about 45 degrees in front of us, so not just down at the pool bottom, right, but slightly ahead, all right? So notice that my hands are actually in my peripheral vision. The surface of the water is right about here. My hands are about mm, six inches below that. Now when I initiate my catch, I'm going to initiate by rolling my shoulders open. So it's an inhale. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to roll, or actually get that shoulder slightly forward. So I'm opening up this entire back side of my shoulder. So if you want, and this is one of Kim Bracken's drills from Bracken Lee Swimming, you want to place your hand on that shoulder so that we can feel this. So head is angled forward. We're going to place that hand out, right? And what I want you to think of is reaching that shoulder forward. And so here's the beginning of our catch. Make sure that you don't feel this in that AC joint. So that's why it's important to keep that neck long as we go. So it's here, here, and then try it with the other side. So we're trying to roll that forward up and through, up and through. And so that way, we can eventually, now mind you, my arm would be down here, we can eventually get that, that catch. Now let's take those arms out wide, extend through the spine, and I just want you to engage those shoulders together and down while pulling the belly button in. Keep the neck and spine long. So we have two things going on. We're lifting torso away from the floor. We're squeezing through the entire back. This is where we derive power in our swim stroke and stability at the same time. Now, extending back, we'll do that locust one more time. So this is our, our press, essentially, or where we're going to extend through. So squeeze back, elongate spine, and open up. Thank you. 
Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Press back into child's pose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. And then we'll come into Shavasana. Grab your blanket one more time. What are you doing? This is broadcast. Get, get out. Uh, guys, sit down. You realize where you are. Come up. Sit down. Sit down or go outside the room. Please. Where are you? I need you to lay down, please. I need to finish. So we'll place the blanket down. We're going to extend the back. <laughs> Lewis, what did you say? Sorry. All right. <laughs> anyway. All right. So we're going to lay back on the blanket. Open the arms up overhead. Exhale, tuck chin and come up. Inhale, lengthen and open up. Exhale, tuck chin. And we'll open all the way up. And now take those arms up overhead and then extend out to the sides and release. You may need to tuck your shoulder blades under. Relaxing on your back for just a little while longer. And then come into Shavasana. So bring the knees up to chest. Walk the hands down the knees. We're going to roll up. Take that blanket up beneath you, or you can keep it there. And then come into a resting position. And stay here for as long as you like. So that's it for the broadcast today. We may try this again soon, but this was a good trial run on a snow day. So anyway, thank you so much, Lewis. Let me try and see if I can't patch you in. Oh, you're so welcome. <laughs> so anyway, sorry that we had a little traffic going on. <laughs> so um, anyway, I'm going to sign off. And... I will have this available on YouTube. I believe that it recorded. <laughs> so um, I'll push it to each of you so you can do it throughout the day. All right? Okay. Well, thanks, guys.